Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In this video, we are going to have a look at how we can try and increase and protect our privacy from Microsoft while using the Windows operating system. Now, there are a couple of settings um, we can adjust on both Windows 10 and 11 to try and increase and help improve our privacy. But I must just say at the start of this video that although we can adjust and turn off a couple of settings, you will never completely stop Microsoft from spying on you when you are using the Windows operating system. Because as many of you may know, there is a lot of telemetry that does go on between um, the Windows operating system and uh, there's a lot of so-called phone in home. But um, there are a couple of settings we can um, adjust as mentioned just to help you maybe get a little bit more peace of mind while using the operating system when it comes to your privacy. Now um, once again you can follow the steps in this video on both Windows 10 and 11 because the process is very similar and on both operating systems just head to your settings menu and on Windows 11 you head over to the privacy and security menu and on Windows 10 that would be your privacy uh, menu and on both operating systems we are going to be looking at Windows permissions and then app permissions and on Windows 10 that's located here on the privacy page on the left hand side. Now I'm just going to start at the top and just work my way down. Now first of all once again um, just to mention another thing is that um, um, obviously everybody's computing needs are different so there are settings that I have turned on and off that you may need so um, I have got a balance between helping improve improving my privacy to some extent and also my everyday computing needs so there are some settings that I may have on or off that you may want to reverse or turn on and off on your side so just keep that in mind now um, under Windows permissions the first page we're going to head to is general and as you can see, I have toggled a couple of these off. And the first is let's let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. I'd say that's a big one. Turn that one off. And um, you don't really need that. And as you can see, I've toggled that off. Next one, let websites show me locally relevant content by accessing my language list. That's another one I would suggest turning off. I've kept let Windows improve start and search results by tracking app launches and show me suggested content in the settings app I've toggled off and by the way I've done exactly the same on both my Windows 10 and Windows 11 device when it comes to these um, privacy and security settings so that's the general page and if we head to the uh, speech page um, here is online speech recognition now if you are using say a online speech recognition app uh, say like Cortana as an example I would suggest keeping this turned on but if you are not using an online speech recognition app say like Cortana then I would um, consider turning the speech, the speech recognition off on my Windows operating system. Now heading to the inking and typing personalization and um, this is another big one and um, personal inking and typing dictionary use my typing history and handwriting patterns to create a personal dictionary I would suggest turning that off. And then diagnostics and feedback um, I have sent optional diagnostic data now the only reason I have this enabled is because of some of the web browsers I do feature on this channel and it needs to be enabled um, for some of those web browsers but if you are not wanting to send optional diagnostic data I would suggest turning this off and then only send required diagnostic data and as you can see although I've got optional diagnostic data turned on um, I have turned off improve inking and typing tailored experiences um, view diagnostic data and then another thing I would suggest is delete diagnostic data. Now I would say every once in a while, I do it about every quarter or so, is I actually delete the diagnostic data. So once you delete your data here, we start removing copies from their systems. So that's another thing you can try on a periodic basis even if you have got um, optional diagnostic data turned on. And then feedback frequency. Choose how often Windows asks for your feedback. I never have this turned on because I don't want to be bugged and distracted by Windows asking me for feedback. So that's another one I would suggest turning off. Um, now we go to activity history. Um, store my activity history on this device. Now I need this for my own personal computing needs to be turned on. But if you are not using um, your, if you don't need to be storing your activity history on your device, I would suggest turning this off because if you do leave it on, you can jump back back into what you were doing on your device by storing your activity history so if you want um, to be able to jump right back in so to speak like I'm leave it on if not turn that off and then um, search permissions and search in windows there's not much gain on there but there's one more setting um, I would suggest um, just turning off if you're not using it and that's under app permissions location 
Now, I have turned on location services because there are some apps um, are required to be using my location. But if you do not need any app or you don't need a weather app or whatever to be accessing your location or a browser, then I would suggest turning location services off because that's a big one when it comes to your privacy. And it says uh, Windows can use your device's capabilities to determine your location. So um, if you are not using any location services on any apps, I would just suggest turning that off. So that's just a couple of settings, as mentioned, on both Windows 10 and 11. You can try adjusting and, you know, you can fiddle around to your own personal um, computing needs, as I did say at the start of this video, and um, turn in a couple of those, of those settings off may be helpful in trying to protect and increase your privacy from Microsoft while using Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.